U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has left Taiwan after arriving yesterday to meet with President Tsai Ing-wen. The visit has anchored China and will conduct a number of live-fire military drills around the island tomorrow through Sunday. From Taiwan, I'm Yel Pascual. We'll tell us the updates live. Yes, I'm Yel. Good evening, Marielle. United States House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi concluded her short stopover to Taiwan and took off from Songshan International Airport in Taipei, 6 p.m. local time. Pelosi arrived in Taiwan late Tuesday with her congressional delegation, which she declared as America's unwav unwavering commitment to supporting, supporting Taiwan's vibrant economy. The U.S. lawmaker started her schedule this morning addressing Taiwan's parliament. She then proceeded to the presidential office building and met with Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen. Tsai conferred on Pelosi the order of propitious clouds with special grand cordon, praising her for unwavering support to Taiwan's development and democracy. Three threats. Taiwan will not back down. We will firmly uphold our nation's sovereignty and continue to hold the line of defense for democracy. At the same time, we wish to cooperate and work in unity with all democracies around the world to jointly safeguard democratic values. Today, our delegation, of which I'm very proud, came to Taiwan to make unequivocally clear we will not abandon our commitment to Taiwan and we are proud of our enduring friendship. The 82-year-old U.S. lawmaker also met pro-democracy activists at Jingmei Human Rights Memorial and Cultural Park in a meeting organized by American Institute in Taiwan. In response to Pelosi's unannounced visit to Taiwan, China's People Liberation Army announced that it would conduct a four-day live fire military drills in six maritime areas near the island starting tomorrow. Beijing has already banned 100 Taiwanese companies to export goods and agricultural products to mainland in retaliation for Pelosi's arrival to Taiwan. Meanwhile, President Tsai said that holding live fire military drills near Taiwan is unnecessary and her government was open to constructive dialogue to maintain peace across Taiwan's trade. And that's the latest here in Taiwan. Marielle? Thank you, I'm Yel Pascual, reporting live from Taiwan.